guys, I am your crypto nerd, helping you making some sense of what the heck is going on with the current market right now uh, in the last two days. Now, any, anal anal any analyst, if they're telling you that this is a good time to buy, there shouldn't be any fear going on, it's outright lie to you, all right? This is not a good time for crypto currency buyers and sellers and also for the market in general because it has taken such a huge slump. I mean, just think about it. We have lost over uh, roughly $400 billion within the last two days. And so that is a huge jump. That's like a 50% jump in the overall market. And that has caused a lot of people to lose a lot of money. So this is a time to be concerned, of course. All right. So so what is the future hold? I think that's what we, we look towards because a lot of us, if you haven't sold your share, you still have your share. So what are we looking at here and why is there a huge change and a huge uh, decline in the value of the coin? Well, first of all, let's find out the reason why and that will kind of help us figure out the root of the problem and, and where we can kind of see it will go. Well, first of all, Asia has a major impact on the overall coin market and what they have done so far is they have restricted the buying and the selling of cryptocurrency coins specifically in South Korea and also in China and what that does is that 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 strikes fear in investors and of course there's no new money coming in having said that there is uh, that causes a lot of the whales and the investors to really pull out their money early and you see a huge drop in the pricing of these coins. So where are we going in the future? Well, looking at the future, the only way for us to just get an idea of what is going on is to look at the trend line within the past year. And so I think what the market is doing right now is it's going through its correction phase. It is stabilizing, it is reaching its mean value where it is supposed to be which is totally normal in any market because because the market can only sustain so much right and if there's no new cap coming in if there's just things are not being bought and sold at a high level then it will stabilize so this is the new norms i believe this is what it's going to be these are the prices these are the pricing for bitcoin for ethereum for ripple for for litecoin these are going to be the new norm for a while, and I don't think there will be a huge change in the in the uh, in the prices of these coins. So, what is your option if you bought it a higher than this amount? Well, well, first of all, if you haven't bought any coins, then yes, it does seem like this is a good time to jump in. But if I were you, I would kind of wait a few more days and see what is going on because this market currently is so volatile. Could the price drop even more? I think that's a huge possibility. Could the price uh, come go up another 30%? That's also another possibility too. But right now, the pre predictability level is just so low that we do not want to take a huge risk at the moment. So keep in mind that things have reached an equilibrium. And again, it's going to it's going to be laying around this market cap I think for some time and it might even drop even lower so that is going to be how the market is going to be behaving at this moment what you're going to do now is you're just going to hang on to your coin if you haven't sold any of them just hang on to your coin and don't worry too much about the market eventually things will correct itself and it will basically be back to where it is Cryptocurrency is growing. It is not something that is stabilizing, which it, I'm sorry, it is stabilizing, but it's also growing at a faster rate than we had imagined. And because of a lot of the corrections, it's now growing at the rate it's supposed to grow. So it's not going to throw a lot of people off by surprise based on the, its, its growth rate. That's just the cryptocurrency market. It is, it is an unregulated market. There are a lot of new players coming into crypto. A lot of new players coming in, coming into cryptocurrency. I'm pretty sure something in South Korea, something in China is gonna it's gonna do its way, and 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 it's hard for a government to stop the the, the trading of coin. That's just not something that uh, that they have full control over. They do have some control, but they won't have full control. So, at the end of the day, relax, be patient with the market, 
what comes down must go back up to a certain extent. It might not be as fast as it's falling, but it will. We've seen that in the history of some of the coin. We've seen that in the history of some of the other markets. So I think overall, we are going to be all right. It will take some time. However, however, if you haven't gotten into the market, um, if you decided to jump in right now, everything is so cheap. Everything is so cheap. But again, I don't even know if this is the right time to buy. I, I, would, I would do you a disservice if I give you my opinion that, okay, let's jump in right now. And that's what a lot of analysts would do. But we don't know. We don't know. And if I'm wrong, it's okay. If I'm wrong, the price goes up. You didn't lose anything. But if I, if we are right, then that means that the price is going to drop even more. So in, in a sense, if you buy at a later date, a later week, you might benefit even more because of the uncertainty uncertainty in the Asia market. So for now, just hang on to your coin. And for now, just kind of wait out a little bit. Continue to follow the market and see how it's behaving. I will also follow the market. And I will update you as soon as I know it's a good time to buy or sell or how the market reacts to a specific situation. That is my two cents for you to give you an update on the current market. Subscribe to Crypto Nerd. I will talk to you in the next video.